my Sweet Picking E2. This is a uh, basically a little piece of music I've written to help tie together uh, what we've worked on in the uh, Sweet Picking Lesson Primer uh, and the Sweet Picking Lesson Number 2. Um, if you haven't worked on those, go to my site, markweenguitarlessons.com and uh, work through those before you do that because we talk about the technique, how this stuff is going to work with the, the pick direction and then also um, we, we work our way through a lot of these arpeggio shapes. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play this for you just to, uh, just to give you a sense of what we're working on first. Here we go. Okay. As you work on these, you're going to want to do it a little bit slower. Make sure you're more definite with the rhythms. Um, for most of this, the, just as, a, as a, a quick description of the, the right hand technique, with the sweep picking, you're, you're playing all one direction until you run out of notes and have to come back the other way. Um, you want to make sure that uh, you work your way through those other lessons um, before you do this one. But uh, basically, if we're heading this direction, it's all down picks. And when we come back this way, it's, it's all up picks. And you don't want to bounce the, the finger you're playing through the string as smoothly as you can. Okay, so we're going to first deal with our C major shape. Um, the notes are uh, 15 on the 5th string, 14 on the 4th string, 12 on the 3rd, 13 on the 2nd, 12, and then 15 on the 1st string. Um, and then we go back down, we pull off to the 12, go 13, 12 on the 3rd, 14 on the 4th, 15 on the 5th, and then back up the way we came. So that's the C major. And then we we're going to play a G major. You're going to go 10, hammering on to 14 on the 5th string, and then you're going to bar um, or roll your finger on the 12th fret for the 4th, 3rd, 2nd strings, and then uh, 10 on the 1st string, and then you can go 15 to 10 as a pull off on the 1st string, and then back down the 12th fret, um, pull off and hammer on on the uh, 14, 10, 14 on the 5th string. Then you're going to stop here at the 12th fret on the 4th string. Um, there's actually, that's the only break in the whole eighth note um, flow of this. There's an eighth rest, which you'll see in the notation if you go to the site. Um, so that's your, your G, and then we've got your A minor. It's going to be kind of a similar picking pattern. You're going to start your fourth finger on the A, twelfth fret, uh, fifth string. Then you've got uh, tenth fret, fourth string, ninth fret, third string, tenth fret, second string, eighth fret, first string. Then you're going to pull off twelve to eight on the first string, go back down 10, 9, 10 on the 4th, 12 on the 5th, and then back up. So you're going and then we're going uh, for the F major, 13 pulling off to the 10, I'm sorry, 13 pulling off to the uh, 8, and then you're going to bar your uh, middle finger 10th fret on the 2nd, 3rd, and then 4th strings. Remember I kind of roll those. And then 12, 8, 12 on the 5th string. And then we do the bar again. 10, 10, 10 on the 4th, 3rd, 2nd strings. Um, 8, and then pull off 13 to 8 on the 1st string. And then 10, 10 on the 3rd string. <clears throat> and then that's where we move into the, the 3 note arpeggios. 15 to 12 on the first string, 13 on the second, 12 on the on the uh, third string. All right, we're going to be repeating that four times. Your picking is going to be down on the first string, pull off, and then you're going to go up on the uh, second and up on the third. Okay, and that pattern is going to continue for the rest of the piece. Then we're going to have that's the C chord just played right there and then we have the G which is going to be the uh, uh, 15 to 10 
on the first string and then 12 on the second and third strings. Once again, notice I'm kind of doing that rolling bar deal. Um, and then we're going to have A minor, which is going to be 12 to 8 on the first string, uh, 10 on the second, and uh, uh, 9 on the third string. And then F minor, this one's just a little bit different than the F major. We have one note, so we have uh, 13 to 8 on the first string, 9, that's the note that's different, on the second string and then 10 on the third string. And then you're going to end on the 8, which is like, you can see that's like the one quarter right there. Okay, I'm just going to play this one more time for you, uh, just so you can kind of see the whole thing in action. <laughs> 